welcome back to Blood and Steel, guys. Blood and Steel. And um, <laughs> I'm just psyched today because in two days, maybe three days, yeah, three days, technically three days, um, Warhammer Total War is coming out. And I got mine pre-ordered and I got pre-loaded because I found out that was a thing because there's no disc versions in the USA. Don't ask me why. But um, so we got it going. And uh, that should be really, really good. I should be able to get that going like the first week at least. <laughs> it just depends on how much more I have to download. But there we go. Uh, super pumped about that. Uh, we got some undead hordes here. They just showed up. I haven't seen them this whole time. I've been running around, as you can see, with all the arrows. Trying to get um, mainly stuff done. I'm trying to get our friends out there. I just sent off another friend. So we, <laughs> Alan still hasn't come back. I'm a little worried, guys. No one's showed up since I sent them out on that mission. Um, but I got at least three or four people out. And then um, I'm trying to get some troops. So every once in a while when I'm trying to find some bandits with a big uh, group of prisoners and not very many troops I can pick on, uh, I try to recruit those to throw them into these. And then I was helping out this patrol a little bit here. They've got lots of prisoners that they could use to recruit into their own army to make them bigger. And I also saw this pink guy. And I was like, oh, we got to get him because he's an undead horde. So these aren't as bad as the other ones, the death knights and all that. Um, these are just Death Knight skeletons, so we can do it. We can do it. I have quite a few troops on me, too. Brains. <laughs> what? Those are zombies, not skeletons. All right, let's do this. Charge the enemy. Yeah, other than that, I haven't doing much. Um, because I'm roaming around fighting these bandits, I've actually been recruiting, or not so much recruiting, but taking a bunch of the weaker troops that are, are garrisoned in my cities. Because I like to be prepared. And I'm taking them out and fighting these super, super like easy peasy bandits like we just took out like 200 guys and I only had like one wounded and it was a hired blade <laughs> so yeah pretty nice pickings around here so we go ahead and set up our infantry right there in that little divot I'm gonna put our archers right here on this knoll and then I'm gonna put our horsemen over there along with our companions and anyone that's not in the same group and did that yes I did they joined in I was hoping they would and this should work pretty good I got all my Nords of course I always always keep a good concentration of really good troops even though I sometimes run around with like only 200 troops uh, just for speed and for recruiting all those prisoners um, I always keep a good batch of good troops with me at all times you must protect yourself at all times <laughs> where are these guys I thought for sure they'd be coming at me right now they're over there someplace I think we're gonna hold if anything you guys can move over a little bit closer that way and let me go and do a little scouting. If they're not going to move, we might move for that hill where the sun's blinding us. It might be a little bit better. I don't know. Oh yeah, I think it's going to be better up here. This is a big divot right here. So those guys go there. Archers go up on this hill. Actually, let's position you guys a little bit more like so. And then you guys can go over here on the other side of this hill. No. Oop, no, no. Companions here. And, uh, our horsemen, and then any other horsemen I may not have in the right group. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's like a big divot right over there, too. Yeah, we'll take this hill. Because it got a little bit better coverage. And then we'll put our archers right up here. If anything, now that I know that there's a divot, you guys gotta go over there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I just made you, but you got horses. It's fine. Go over there because that's all flat, whereas this is a big old divot over here. I don't know if you can get up that little part. And you're in a cornfield. Just light the field on fire. Just light it on fire. That's what they need. Flaming arrows that set scenes on fire. Uh, environmental destruction. That would be kind of a neat effect. I mean, I don't know what else you could do besides light things on fire, but then again, that could be really bad. I mean, if you limited it to where it only spread out so far, I think you'd be pretty safe. Um, so you would engulf the entire battlefield in fire, but I mean structural damage like sieges If you light a building on fire, it'd slowly start taking damage rather than having to throw multiple rocks at it Stone shouldn't burn though. I mean unless it got wood in it. It shouldn't burn. <laughs> so stone walls I don't see burning, but if you had like a tower it should burn All right. Yeah, they're going in that divot Skeletons what can I say? They're not very durable. Okay, everybody charge do this. Blunderbuss time. And then I'll have to get off for the big one. Skeleton, go away. I see you poking at my horse. 
I see you. I'm gonna get behind these guys. Because I can. And oh, he's, he didn't like that I shot at him. <laughs> he didn't like that one bit, but we're destroying everybody else. I'll distract these guys. I got these guys. I got these. I have plenty of troops. I'm not too worried if I don't get those other ones. I don't even see my crosshairs. <laughs> Do you slow down? Is he attacking his own guys? It looked like he was swinging out a skeleton there. Okay, I'm not hitting anything now. Holy cow! Actually, I did get one. Okay, let's get off after I shoot this guy. You want some? Wow, you took that like a champ. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, he dodged my attack. Alright, let's get down. I gotta get the big gun out for that big guy. Oh, I forgot to switch my sword to see if, um. Ouch. Stop it. If uh, that magical, like, crazy sword is good for the undead, like the undead swords are good against humans. Oh, I don't want to hit my last Ronin. I have, like, only one left. <laughs> I ended up shooting this. How did I shoot this already? I don't even know. Alright, let's get back on horse, I guess. Yeah, I forgot about that. I have this sword, and I want to say it's supposed to be good against the undead, like the undead swords are against the humans, but maybe they're not coded that way. What are you guys doing? Is there somebody in the barn? <laughs> Just light it on fire. Oh, there's a flesh golem over here. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get over here. Dismount. It's Get him! Get him at the knees! Or whatever those joints are. I don't know if he has knees. Okay. Got him. Snuck in there with a pierce attack. Very nice. 4,840 XPs. Very nice. My horse even got in there. Alright. Sweet. I think we got one more round. We had 7 killed, 1 wounded, 25 killed. See, this is the difference between our troops and their troops. <laughs> 25 killed, 11 wounded, 202 killed. Yeah, we got 157. We should be able to do this. I don't remember how many golems were, though. This could be the flesh golem round. Ooh. I don't think we're going to make it to that hill. Let's set up here, and then we'll check out. They're kind of slow. Go ahead, put you guys down here. Put you guys over there. You guys over there. You guys over there. I think this would be a good, nice spot. Our archers can... You know, if you can't have a hill, you might as well have a divot, so that when they're coming down the divot, you can just unleash on them. It's another thing you can do. If you've got the mass firepower like we do, <laughs> you can do the opposite. Alright, let's go and see. It's a nice scenery though, with all the hills on the sides. Oh, it's the remnant group. It's the remnants. I forgot about those guys. <laughs> Hold! Hold! In fact, move forward a little bit. Cover the archers. I can't even hit that guy. You guys, like, go away? Seriously, bro. Seriously. Just stop. <laughs> My horse don't like that. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I didn't tell you to go that far. I went right here. Okay. Ronin expert killed by... Oh, I've got like two of those left now. Okay. I'm feeling like this is going to be a big guy and a little guy group. Like, here comes the remnants. Or the Ronin... Well... Yeah, there's still a group coming. I kind of... Thinking I'm right. We might have to take this hill now. Let's see. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's not a bunch of big guys. It's a bunch of skeletons. We'll hold. Or shall we? No, we'll hold. The archers are the only thing I'd have to worry about. They're kind of slow. Oh, there's a bunch of big goods, so. Yeah. Let's go ahead, reposition a little bit. Put you guys on that for a nice flanking charge. And then we'll back you guys up a little bit to, like, here. So that they should try to come after you, maybe. But give our archers, and our archers need to be positioned a little bit differently. You need to be for just a teensy bit so these guys can actually shoot at stuff. They're kind of behind that hill a little bit. Beautiful. Nice. And we wait. Okay. Actually go over here just a teensy bit and back up. But yeah, I am so psyched for the Warhammer one. Um, I played a mod a long time ago. I can't remember the name of it. I think it was... um. Oh, gosh. It was a Russian mod. And it was pretty good, except for it was kind of crazy. 
Like, I always wanted to play as the orcs, and you couldn't recruit any troops, so you had to use what you could for a while, and it was crazy hard. But it was good. It just... They have these scenes where things would happen without your, like, control, and it would just mess things up like crazy. Okay. Very nice. We got some kills going. Let's go ahead and back you guys. No. Right there. There's a few of them going that way, but most of them are going downhill. And I'm going to go over here with the big gun. Take out some of these flesh golems. We'll let them just keep coming down that hill. And then we'll charge them. Let's use the big gun. I haven't used it that much. I stay on the horse most of the time these days. I'm lazy. <laughs> okay. Go up to that guy. Go up to that guy. Go after him again. Okay. Now for the big gun. Okay, everybody charge. Go away, skeleton. Okay. Got him. Look at that. Three headshots. Oh, I may have hit somebody there. I may have hit her horse. Okay. Assist. Okay. Get him. Get him. Teamwork. Look at this guy's arm. <laughs> He's like, why? Why did I have to get shot three times in the face? Okay, let's get this guy in the butt. It's a weak spot. Okay. Seriously, look, it's the only place there's like not lots of tons and tons of metal. Let's take him out by the knees, the hips. The hips don't lie. <laughs> Alright. Where's my horse? There he is. Um I'm not gonna get on the horse. Yeah, we'll take these guys out. I've almost got, I think, one more day, maybe half a day now. Oh, they're getting destroyed now. Mercenary swordsmen. Oh, yes. Um, and we'll finally see what that building's going to do that we got for training troops. Oh, just skimmed it over your guys' heads. Okay. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That one didn't work too well. Uh, Berserker is killed by Crazy Cole. Ah, yeah, Yamira got knocked out by Crazy Cole. <laughs> I thought I aimed it just enough, but I didn't. Okay. One left. None left. Maybe there's still one left. How did I miss this guy over here? There we go. I still got one Ronin left. It's good. Is it not over yet? It's not over yet. Why are you guys cheering preemptively for that? They do that all the time. They're like, yeah, we killed something. Now let's go kill the rest. I'm like, what? I just got off my horse. All right, let's see if I can get them. Get the blunderbuss. Are they running? Or are they stuck? Oh, I think they're stuck, guys. That's why they weren't fighting this whole time. Um, Caravan guard recruit fell unconscious. Why did he fall? Did he fall off the pill? <laughs> he fall off a wall or what? Why did he just fall unconscious by himself? Ah, oh, skeleton archers. Okay, that's why they're back here. Ronin's got this. Look at this. My one Ronin's just destroying them. <laughs> Probably gonna be none left by the time we get there. Right when we get there. Two left. Uh, one left. And... None left. There we go. Now we can cheer. I see you, son. Okay. Boom. Our casualties. That was a little worse. Uh, tw 39 killed. 6 were wounded. That was a lot more big guys though. 25 killed. 24 were wounded. And 157 killed. Boom. Nothing there for that. Uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4 levels on our friends. And some Swadian. Just 1. Okay. 5 items. What did we get? We got a Viking helm. <laughs> Alright. And spears. Oh, sweet. Okay. Done and done. So we still got our party here. They're still alive with the uh, hundred oh well, seventy six out of one hundred thirty five. Oh, we got two more people leveled up. Sweet. Let's go ahead and level some people up, and then we'll go check on that building. Um, do, 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 do. actually, I should just do this off camera. I'll be right back. And the Nords are fighting the Swadians again. <laughs> so I need to wait here a little bit, let some troops heal, upgrade, and then should be done today. Let's go ahead and check. Um. Let's upgrade the troops real quick. I'm pretty sure it should be done today. 
Let's go with some more defenders. I'll throw these guys into the castle or town here. Let's go manage this town. Oh, it still has one more day. Should be done like halfway through the day then. Um, we'll accept the offer. There we go. Is that more? Those are our guys. Those are our guys. Okay. But yeah, we got a pretty good start. So if those guys can manage to take out some of these, then all they'd have left is maybe a town? Oh, I'll have to see how this plans out. Because if we could just take that town, that would connect us here. And then once we go to war here, we'd have this chunk. We could take this town and this castle, and have this whole area once we took out that one. And then work on these guys. I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to do this. I'm waiting for our guys to show up. Because I don't want to get too greedy. Because if you get too greedy, sometimes um, the AI will come after you. If you start taking way more land than your right to rule is. And I have... I don't even know how much I have right now. Let's go find that out. Um, characters... Renown controversy is zero. I have no honor apparently. <laughs> Renown. Uh, I don't know where the right to rule is. I thought it was on this thingy, but I don't know. Well, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go back to waiting then, I guess. <gasps> apparently, it is a thing. Faction eliminated. They are no more. So we actually defeated them. So now I can go to war without having to worry about those guys coming back. Interesting. Oh, okay. Um. Is this done yet? No, it's still not done. Holy smokes. It lies. It must be like two days instead of the one day. Um, oh, sweet. Alright, so we go back here now. They should be all gone. Uh, butt kickers. They're there. They haven't been defeated. So I wonder, I guess they're just going to kind of disperse on their own. Okay, interesting. So I don't actually have to go and find them and track them down to make peace. It would make sense. I haven't seen them and I haven't had any reports. Like, you think they'd be trying to raid my villages. But... Apparently that's not a thing. But I'm still gotta wait for our friends to come back so we can get some renown. But it should be pretty quickly here. Should be starting to get the flow. Um, but that's neat that we don't have to do anything. So if we just wipe them off the map, we can get them. So that is something we could do. If the Swadian decide or end up getting knocked out really bad and these are like their last few towns, we could wipe them out as well. Be whoa. Maybe not though. Like, if we wipe them out, then, um, there won't have, <laughs> there'll be fewer people to be fighting each other. Like, I don't know if these guys would keep fighting each other, or they'd start coming after me, because I'm maybe one of the weaker ones? I don't know. Like, that gives them a weak target to want to try to go after, and they're so dispersed that it's kind of a good thing. Maybe I'll leave the Swadians for now. I thought about that just now. There we go. Alright, so we're still waiting on this thing. I almost wanted to go after that, but it spawns bandits, so I'm not going to. No it's been defeated in battle. Is this done yet? Starvation. Where is this town? Oh, it's this one. They're still sieging that? Holy cow. We might have to go check that out. I might uh, drop some troops and see how well they're doing. Like, they're, they've been sieging that thing for, like, ever. Manage this town? Come on. Alright, wait here for some time. Should be any minute now. There's this town. Really? It's been like two days. Alright. Again. The wait. And we're back with some information. So, I finally turned off that silly uh, item sorting thing. I mean, it's nice, but it messes with the food so much. I realized I had a lot of food that was like only bits and pieces. So finally I reorganized it so that we're chewing through the stuff that was only like five left. <laughs> and I turned it off. It's just not really necessary anymore. Uh, and then I went to go look for food. But look, they did really good. They actually were able to defeat it like a little bit after I cut. So I was like, I'll just tell them later. Um, so they took it. And now they're at war still. Or Well, they're at war now with these guys. So everybody's still war on each other. Uh, some people from that faction we destroyed are now switching sides. And this thing is now done. So what do we want to do next? Probably a prisoner tower? Messenger post. What's a messenger post? Let's inhabitants send you a message whenever enemies are nearby, even if you are far away from here. As uh, a party with a thing. Oh, only one day? Let's to go ahead and do that one then. That'd be really, probably really handy. If I'm really far away, they maybe give enough notice so I could come back. Find out. But I don't know what that thing's going to do, because I go to hire recruits and it's still the Nords, and they're just spearmen, but maybe it'll change. But we'll see, and I'll watch the garrison. Higher blades are at the very bottom, okay. Maybe they'll magically spawn in. Oh, I have five around there. What am I talking about? They'll magically, like, spawn in some ones. Got to throw you guys in there. And then, what else do we want to throw in there? 
probably just that for now. Other than that, I'm still waiting for people to show up. <laughs> trying to think of something fun to do, but it's hard to do when there's nothing I can do. Like, I want my uh, vassals. When the guys come back, then I'll make them vassals. But I can't do that till they come back, and they're not coming back. Uh, maybe we can send off one of these guys now. Send you off, maybe? Let's ask you something. What do you support me? Um, there we go. I'm sending them off like every few days I can send somebody off, but nobody's come back yet. Could be a really long timer. But um, yeah, I thought that was interesting that I actually defeated them. So it's possible, but you have a whole faction doing it rather than just one person. And I'm still trying to see how this plans out. Whether I think I'll probably go after these guys for sure. Just because we can get a lot of territory, but I want the vassals so that I can sweep them. Do one big field battle, really, and then do that. But there are so many patrols around here that are mine. Like, there's crazy amount of patrols all over here I keep passing through. So I love that they're giving us lots and lots of troops to help defend our lands. I just wish I could do something. Like, I'm still trying to figure out how to get the champions. Like, I don't even remember what they're called in the Nords. But the champion units, I have not, I haven't found any as a prisoner. I've never been able to recruit any. Um, I'm hoping this is what this building does. In fact, I just realized I was doing this at the castle too. Some soldiers already upgrade. Maybe it's at the castle we do that. Slaver chief. And maybe it's a roulette thing where you have to keep coming back every day, trying to recruit a bunch of troops, and every once in a while you'll get a chance of them being those uh, heavy hitter dudes. Let us find out. Let's see. Uh, Manus's town. It is finished. Let's do the messenger post. It only takes a day. Go ahead and then hire company recruits. Steel spearmen. It switches between spearmen and um, herskulls. And I don't think I've had any other ones. Maybe longbowmen or bowmen. Um, Station of Garrison. Did they give me any? Blunderbuss. No, no, nothing new in here. Yeah, if you guys know how to do that, like how to get the champion units. I'd like to get some of those because those things would be beastly. And then if we got enough of those, I feel like we could maybe try to go after the undead a little bit, you know? If I had the heaviest hitters possible in the game, I would probably try to take something, but until I can finally <laughs> get some, I don't know how to do that. I just don't know. We got tons of troops there, we've got uh, tons of troops here, tons of troops there. Of course, they won't last very long, but it might stall them enough. And then, that's it. So I think that's it for today. I don't want to keep rambling on where there's nothing else to do. And I have to wait a lot. If anything pops up, then I'll come back. But otherwise, I think that'll be it, guys. Be it for this episode. We took out Abundant Undead. We got some buildings going. I should be getting right, uh, what was it? Right to rule any day now. <laughs> as soon as Alan comes back, then I'll know that we have it in, uh, like a week all of our friends should be back but um yeah i will see you guys later and uh hopefully i can get the warhammer going within the first week that it comes out <laughs> bye haha alan finally made it home <laughs> uh yeah welcome back friend it only took him um, let's see i don't even know when we sent them off but it is now july 29th that's how long it took <laughs> so we got friends should be coming back now it should say i have some right to rule right notes characters. My controversy is 23. What the heck happened? I haven't done anything. <laughs> I haven't raided any villages. I haven't uh, killed anybody. I haven't done anything. Why did I get 23 controversy now? My right to rule. I don't even know where that's supposed to be. Factions. Buck kickers. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be on that same one. Alright, well... At least I know that our friends should come back. I was getting a little worried that we weren't going to have them come back at all. <laughs> getting a little worried. But that's good. Now I'm just going to be doing the waiting game. And then next time I see you guys, depending on how things happen in the game, um, if I can get my people, actually, we should do that right now. Where do we want to give Alan? I'm thinking we can give him this place. Or we could give him this place. We should actually give him something that's going to be in the war fairly quickly like this place. That way he can start garrisoning it more. So we want to give him this castle which is uh, Sungichi? I don't know. Let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. Alan, where did you go? At the very bottom of the list. Alan, talk. He's already got tons of good skills so I'm pretty much ready to give him away. You got 24, 24. 
He's already got the leadership. He's got engineering at eight. He's got pathfinding, spotting, in case that even helps. He's got all that other stuff. So, I decided to promote me. He'll be given a fief and be my sworn lord. Uh, with pleasure. Which fief shall you grant me? Sangichi Castle. She my hairness, but now that with the offer. There we go. Left the party. And then. There he goes. Now he got the castle. I'll probably give him the town too. I'll give him each a castle, a town. Oh, we got things rolling, guys. Now he's got to wait, see how long it takes for him to get troops. And then we can kind of eyeball to see, like, once we expand and give everybody at least a town and castle that we have currently, uh, how long it would take to give people the property and for them to garrison it themselves and have their own troops fighting in the future in case we need them, like, lickety split. But I will see you guys for sure.